Chardon's acute awareness of the nature of things endowed his representations of ordinary objects with a serenity and timeless dignity that ultimately raised still life painting to a new and respected plane. The same tender observation of everyday occurrences is evident in these two genre scenes. In the return from the market, the housekeeper deposits bread and a leg of lamb in the pantry while listening in on the conversation at the open door. Likewise, in the governess, beyond the door another world awaits the young boy, listening thoughtfully, his lesson books in hand and his toys abandoned on the floor. Breathless with her burden, a maid returns from the market. Her arms full of victuals and the birthright of every French citizen, loaves of warm crusty bread. A moment captured in the daily activities of a household. The maid rests against a sideboard, momentarily catching her breath before proceeding. It is assumed, with the cooking of the meal she has bought provisions for. Her face is plain but calm with no hint of stress as she glances back over her shoulder perhaps listening to the other maid servants chatting in the background. This is a simple work but it is a fine example of genre painting. The term genre refers to scenes of everyday life. There is no momentous occasion here or event of historical significance indeed it is in its ordinary glimpse of life where the charm lies. The figure of the maid is front and center and provides a balance to the work. The maid is bathed in a soft light like that from a window on the opposite wall. It is a natural light that highlights the subject. There is richness to the wooden sideboard upon which she leans and at her feet the dark bottles of wine are shiny and one can almost feel the smoothness of the glass if one were to touch them. Jean-Baptiste Simeon Chardin, was an 18th century French painter. He is considered a master of still life, and is also noted for his genre paintings which depict kitchen maids, children, and domestic activities. Carefully balanced composition, soft diffusion of light, and granular impasto characterize his work. Chardin was born in Paris, the son of a cabinet maker, and rarely left the city. He lived on the left bank near Saint-Sulpice until 1757, when Louis XV granted him a studio and living quarters in the Louvre. 